paper and watercolors and string. Perfect. Can I touch it? Since you guessed right, you get to touch it. <laughs> how, did you, how did you come up with uh, the idea? The idea came slowly. I went to school and then I started cutting up my paintings and as soon as I cut up one and put it on the wall and saw what it was doing, I got really excited. This is the first time I've actually taken them off the wall and started suspending the wall. Is there anything you want to represent or portray? Any deeper thought behind it? Behind your art. Yeah, the idea for it? this show is loss, capturing different moments of loss. Some of those more painful moments, some of the moments where you're like, ah, I can let go of this. This little thing is there paint? Watercolor? Uh, these are actually or more acrylic, and like this piece right here is watercolor, that's watercolor. Underneath there is acrylic, that's watercolor. But then these parts are acrylic, and that even has some marker on it. So it's very Look at mixed. this. Impossible. How did you create this? Uh, kind of don't remember. Sewing, paper, paint. You like to sew? I like sewing paper. <laughs> I never heard of that. Before. I know. <laughs> you sew paper? Yes. I sew paper. Did you play around and display it for sale? Or did someone actually bought a piece of it? It's sad. You get a little bit sad. Do you yeah. take pictures of it so you will remember it always? Yes. Yeah. I've always wondered if people miss what is sold or given away. It's good to look at it. It's just. I'm glad it's a pleasant experience. Yeah, it's, it is. Good. Yeah, it is. I'm sure we'll hear about you. <laughs> and we can say, we you can heard. follow me online if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. You can uh, put your email addresses in and subscribe to my website. We sure do.